Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be discussing the question Boats to Save People. In this question, we are given an array of people in which the weight of the person at ith position is given in the array. Now each boat can carry a maximum weight of limit. Also, each boat can carry at most two people at the same time, provided the sum of the weight of the, those two people should be at most limit. Now, we need to return the minimum number of boats to carry each given person. It is guaranteed that each person can be carried by a boat. In the first example, we are given two people with the weight 1,2 and the limit is 3. We output 1 because we only need one boat in order to carry these two people. Now comes an array with 4 people and the limit is 3. We need 3 boats in order to carry these 3 people. In first boat, person with weight 1 and 2 can go and in the rest of 2 boats, the single person will go. Given other constraints with the problem, these constraints are important and we will discuss it why. So let's see how we can solve this problem. Suppose this is the example given to us where there are 4 people and the limit is 3. Now we need to first sort this array. Why we are sorting the array? We are sorting this array because we know that we have a limit of 3 and there are at most 2 people that can go in one boat. So we need to have 2 people whose sum of weight is as close as 3. To do so, we are sorting the array because we know that the end index will have the maximum weight and the first index will have the least weight. So we can combine 2 people one with the least weight and one with the highest weight and make them go into the same boat if they gives us the sum which is less than or equals to the limit. Moving forward with this approach, we take two pointers, one at the zeroth index and other at the last index and then we compare if the sum of the two gives us the weight which is equals to or less than the limit. As we know, the one plus three gives us four which is over the limit, we decrement the end pointers. Now, why we are decrementing the end pointer is because we still have the possibility that the person with a less weight might be combined with person with a weight which gives the sum equals to or less than the limit. But a person whose sum with the least value is still greater than the limit won't give us any advantage like the person with a less weight. So this person with the weight 3 is need to go into a separate boat. So we shift our right pointer. Now we continue doing that if the weight of the two persons comes less than or equals to limit then we increment the left and decrement the right. Otherwise we only decrement the right. Let's see how we can code this. So as discussed we need to first sort the array. So we sort the array. Now we know we need to have two pointers, one left pointer which will be 0 and the right pointer which will be the last index. We need to have the number of boats initially be 0. Now as discussed, we will be going from left to right checking if the sum of the left and sum of the right weight of the people is less than or equals to the limit given to us. If that is the case, we need to increment the left as we have used this person and decrement the right. Else, we are sure that the right person will be going in a different boat. So, we will be incrementing the boat in either of the two cases. At the end, we simply return the boats variable. When we run this code, it gives us right result. Let's test this for all the inputs. So they're all correct values. Let's submit this. So it got submitted successfully. Now the time complexity of this approach is O of n log n. Well, the space complexity is O of 1. Can we reduce the time complexity to O of n? Thus making a trade off with the space complexity. Yes, we can do that. In order to do so, we'll see how we can sort this people array without using the sort function which gives the time complexity is n log n. Consider the previous example that we discussed. At the start of this video while discussing the constraints I told you that it will be a great importance to us in this question because 
if you see that clearly it says that the weight of every person will be either less than or equals to the limit so from here we know that all the values will be under the limit this gives us a chance to use a sorting algorithm which sort the array in o of n time complexity for this to work we'll take an array size limit plus 1 which have the index all the way from 0 to limit now we need to apply count sort many of you might know how to implement a count sort and thereby you can skip this part going directly to the coding part and how to do it or you can first try it by yourself and if you face any issue you can always come back to this video and refer for all who do not know how the count sort work let's discuss it in order to count sort to work we'll start off with iterating over the array starting from the first position that is 3 So the value three needs to go at index three of the count sort array that we declared. We'll increment one. This array holds the number of times a value has occurred. So three has occurred one time till now. We move to the second value or the first index and increment the value at index two of the count sort. At the end, we have the array which holds the number of times a value is present in the original array. 2 is present 2 times 3 is present 1 time and 1 is present 1 time now comes how we can sort this in order to sort this we'll start copying from the start of the array the number of times a value has occurred so we'll copy 1 1 time then we copy 2 2 times in the original array and lastly 3 that's how we get the sorted array without using the arrays.sort function thereby optimizing our algorithm to run in o of n time complexity but as we are using an array the space complexity increases from o of 1 to o of limit let's see how we will code this so we will be working on this arrays dot sort as discussed we need to have a count array of size limit plus 1 now we need to iterate over the people array and count the number of times p occurs we now need to copy the values so we'll start off with the index from 0 so for every value from 1 to limit we need to put the values while the count of well is greater than 0 in the people at index so this completes our coding part wherein we change the sorting algorithm to count sort when we run this code for all the test cases it still gives us the right to the let's submit this so it got submitted successfully the time complexity of this approach now becomes o of n but the space complexity also becomes o of limit thanks for watching the video see you in the next one